Welcome to another episode of Sky Factory One, where I did a little bit of work on the factory. Uh, <laughs> not heaps. Um, just sort of running, uh, running like a trim around the edge, and I think I might even do the same down here, which is going to be awkward with we've ran cables. Like, like here. That's. Uh, I mean, it could just go down. So maybe that's not a big deal at all. And yeah, just a little bit of general tidying up. Um, it's something I realized that I'm recording a little bit of an advance at the moment. So somebody may have mentioned it, but the way I've been combining stuff, uh, you can get multiple enchants on a on a sword at the same time. I don't really want to do this one. I guess it doesn't hurt. But yeah, if we had like a bat wing as well, you could get damage. Yeah. And boom, there's there's a sword with multiple <laughs> multiple things on it. Mac, we get like wing two. No. Uh, I don't really want fire aspect on my sword, but nice to have, you know, just another one. Because flight is, is pretty good. Uh, in terms of other stuff we've done, mm, upgraded my XP tank to the jumbo sized one. That's about it. That's about it. But uh, last episode, we briefly looked at what it would take to get to the Infinite Dark after we got the treasure stuff working. So that's done. That's cool. All well, the charm's done. We've beaten the weather. Game's over, right? Not exactly. Not exactly. Of course. Of course. But uh, the Infinite Dark, I've never seen this dimension. And I think it could be kind of cool. It's actually not the easiest one to get to, requiring that netherite. And uh, making the nether rack seems to be the biggest pain because we can we can sift crush netherrack, um, but we can also generate netherrack in the stonework generator. Um, and if we wanted to get to that, there's a couple of industrial foregoing things we'd need to dive into. Most notably, plastic. Um, I think advanced machine frames. Oh, they need the netherite anyway. Uh, but we also need pink slime. So these are, this is kind of easy to get, uh, but we can get pink slime from a mob slaughter factory, which of course requires plastic. So plastic is the big thing holding us back. You know, plastic's not too hard to get. Just need tiny dry rubber from a latex processing unit, which we already need latex for. Oh, we need, that's not where you get latex from, though, is it? It's a fluid extractor. Yes. Um, and these things are pretty cool. So power is optional, so we probably... I guess we don't bother with power. Uh, but aside from a bit of redstone, this should all be pretty easy. And we should hopefully have a bit of redstone being built up. 105? Yeah. We're doing alright on redstone. Uh, not doing so good on storage, so... I'm gonna have to look at... Uh, I mean, we can combine some of this stuff, right? It's going to free up a little bit of space, uh, admittedly not, not heaps. And then we just, uh, ah, perfect. And oh, that fire is so noisy. Still need to work on the blaze stuff at some point as well. But, if we're getting some fluid extractors, uh, we need some, not that, pity, pity, pity machine frames. Um, I think four is usually a good number. For the kind of automation you want to do with it. So there's four of them. Four gold plates. And this should be easy. And then a block placer. Uh, industrial foregoing has one. That needs plastic. And this one does not. And a block placer. And then we just need a bunch of logs. Which, I'll, we don't really have a bunch, but this will be cool. Man, oh, that is so noisy. That is so noisy. So block placer, it does not require power. He will place jungle logs. Then we can simply... Do you reckon these are facing the right way? They are not. Not at all. Um, I think these go faster if they have power, but... That should be fine. So these slowly, slowly building up with latex. That's actually really slow. That's actually really slow. Wireless power, is that easy? Did you transfer nodes? I mean, we've got crystallized amber. We just don't have nether bricks, but... 
That's not too bad. Actually, we may have nether bricks in there. No, we do not. So smelt up a couple of netherrack. Sweet. Then we can craft this guy. Once I grab my nether bricks. And I've never actually used one of these, so we'll be figuring it out. I'm assuming I can like chuck him not there. And chuck him. I mean maybe we go on the top of this. Cool. And then it looks like we want uh, I wonder if we need multiple. And if they they kind of join. Uh, can we get another one of these? And I'm assuming if we make that wireless card. GPS data card. Uh, I need iron nuggets. We should have some more lapis. Carbon paper. Oh, we actually need charcoal. Carbon paper. Now get GPS cards. Cool. And we needed another one of the these. And I think we should be able to. I guess. Uh, how am I going to want to do the power and stuff? I guess we'll pipe the liquids out. Underground, yeah, so that means on the top. Uh, I guess we want to link these. Uh, I don't know how this works. So you're going to be powering that guy, right? Yes. Oh, I should power that other thing. That's how I should do it. Cool. And now there's power here. Yes. Oh, I made an extra one. Well, I guess we're going to want one of them anyway. And this should make these guys a bit faster. Seems like you're not actually outputting. I know this power. Was there? Is this doing anything? I don't know if that's doing anything. We've got a pulverizer here that probably has no power in it. Well, you've got power in you. I think there's a couple I never hooked up to anything. Yeah, you got nothing. Do you get power? You don't. So that's not how these work. Okay, but I guess if we do this. There we go. Oh, so you just link the GPS to the cable. All right. Yeah, now this looks like it's a bit faster. Sweet. Okay, I see how that works now. So we're going to want multiple of these. Yeah, and probably not sitting where it's sitting. Okay, cool. That will be handy in the future. But, alright. So we got the first part. Full extractor, we need to be putting logs in there. I guess we'll just do it when it runs out. So then we need the latex processing unit. Here we go. So we need a bucket of latex and a water bucket. Uh, we probably don't have... We don't have a full bucket of latex yet. We could pipe it into a singularity tank just to get, the, just to get that initial bucket. And I guess it's probably not a bad idea to be storing it. Now can we just like do that and then 
No. Oh, can you do bigger areas? Interesting. Um, if we don't set up pipes, can we do this? No, no. Okay, all right. So then we need fluid pipes. And just temporarily, actually we could do this. I was going to go underground, but I mean, this could be kind of cool. Very industrial. We then connect you like this, and you extract. Yeah, we don't need to be doing uh, extracting from every side, or like multiple sides, but kind of makes it symmetrical, right? Now we've got one and a half buckets, we can grab a bucket of that, grab a bucket of that, it's night time already, and then we can think about this dude, so we need a couple of them, now we need logs, alright, alright, we can get some logs, that's such a good axe. Um, I guess we can just have another one ready to go. Ready to go. Then we get the latex processing unit. And actually... I mean, we can do this. He's going to want power, though. There's some power. Uh, he also needs to be getting... Oh, now can you auto-input... Can't auto input, so you're going to have to be taller. We could go to the side. I mean, we could could do this. Uh, then these pipes are all connected, and we could do this. He's not really getting the latex. Yeah, that's not quite what we what we want there. Um, that's still not quite what we want. What if we have the tank back here? There you go. Now you're getting the latex. I'll just do something like this, and purely for aesthetics. I do that. Sure. He's got latex. It looks like he needs water as well. Uh, how can I do that in a nice way? Uh, I guess we'll just do the fluid hopper. And the infinite water source above. It's not great. And then if we do that, then we can only really pipe out these sides. And I'm sure there's something fancier we could do with some sort of... Oh, we could actually do an ender tank, right? We probably could make these. Maybe we do that. And then we'll hook like an ender tank up to this guy. Oh, he's already piping into that barrel. We can do an ender tank under there. Oh, we already hit all the stuff. Uh, let's get some blue dye so we know that it's for water. Yeah, maybe we should use this and just try and keep things a little bit tidier. So we've got our fluid hopper. Which means we can put an ender tank for water here. We can grab this fluid hopper. Now we do have to be careful. Should be able to do that. Um 
we might get a situation if both of these guys absorb some water, we're going to lose our infinite water source. Yeah, it could happen. It could happen in the future. And then I think we could probably just put that there and then do that. Nice. That's pretty tidy. And then we end up with tiny dry rubber and that is the the first part of our industrial foregoing journey. Um, because then now we can create the dry rubber eventually once we get enough. And that's going to get us to uh, getting ready to make this mob slaughter factory. Right, so I might just quickly whip up this mob slaughter factory. We should get the plastic eventually. And we'll just have like a manual area for doing it now. Uh, this this doesn't look great, does it? Eventually there'll be a roof in this factory too. But, uh, quickly whip up this mob slaughter factory and we should start to get some pink slime. Well, this doesn't look ominous at all. Uh, yeah. Now, we could work on perhaps like capturing some of the passive mobs that are spawning or like only having one area passive mobs can spawn and funneling them into an area, but how did you get out? Oh, I think mobs can still spawn like up there. Oh, that does work. Okay, I didn't really want to... Didn't really want to fight you just yet. Uh, but sure. Alright. Yeah, so. Got a bunch of eggs, because we can just spawn some chickens in. Um, essentially. Because we set up our uh, chicken coop a while back. Here's the stuff for the mob slaughter factory. Now, are you going to face the correct way? Nice. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need power. Got a very small working area, so we definitely want to work on an upgrade for that. Is my latex going pretty slow? Um, also, we have a chest just funneling wood uh, into the block placer. But if we want an upgrade, I'm pretty sure it's going to need plastic. Oh, that already needs the dissolution chamber. Well, not quite. Don't have enough plastic just yet. We'll definitely work on that. Uh, we should just be able to funnel the chickens into that area anyway. Uh, I'm going to want another one of those wireless. Oh, mate, that'll be faster to switch for cyclic. Need another transfer node and a GPS. Um, although power's pretty close here. We could just run the cable, but nah. we'll keep it tidy, we'll keep it tidy. So you can go there, uh, I should have set the GPS. Connect to you. Nice. You're now getting power. We probably want to be able to run with redstone signal. Yeah, because we're not going to be wanting to run them all the time. Probably going to forget to turn them on and off. But, let's uh, spawn some chickens. Nice. And then, you turn you on. You got rid of one. You got a little bit of pink slime and a little bit of liquid meat. You're not really going into, oh, you're standing in the right place where you were. I've got a, I've got an idea. This is actually <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Processing baby chickens. Yeah. That's, that's going to work. See, bye chickens. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit over there. A little bit more. See you, mate. Cool, we've almost got a bucket of pink slime, and if we make that dissolution chamber, we can get it. Does it make water? It might make a little bit of water. And then once we've got that, we can look at the material stonework factory. Uh, but we are going to need to get a piece of leatherite. Netherite? Leatherite? Piece of leatherite? Piece of netherite first, anyway, or two netherite scraps. Uh, I'll have to look at automating that somehow. Just hope we get lucky, because we just need two. 
Now, I think the only way for us to get that, if we don't go down the laser drill route, which needs the netherite first. Mm. Oh, it needs the... Okay, so you just need the one base, and then you can make four of them. That's probably not too bad, um, but we're not quite there yet. A 0.8% chance. That's pretty bad. I don't have a better way to do this. But hey, that's, uh, that's next episode's problem. So, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll come back next time. Dig into a little bit more industrial foregoing so we can uh, get some netherite, which uh, is not going to be as good as our inferior tertium. Whatever that armor is. But still, progress. Alright, guys. See ya in the next one. <laughs>